Well, hello everyone.、Uh, my name is Ryosuke Hori from the International Affairs Office at Toyo University. And here with me today is、uh, Reiko san, Iruichijima san,、uh, also from the International Affairs Office. Okay, so uh, today um, uh, we, have, we only have、uh, 15 minutes to introduce ourselves. So、um, uh, let me share the video first、uh, so you can kind of see the gist of our university. Okay. いらないのさもともと一つの生命抱きしめ合うぬくもりこそこの星を回すからハローハローハローハローハローハロー Okay, that was it. So、uh, I hope you saw, you know,、um, kind of saw uh, what uh, campuses uh, we have. And you saw、uh, a lot of descriptions of sports you know, activities.、Uh, we are very famous for college sports. Okay, so let me share the slide here. Okay, and let's make it full screen. Okay. So, again,、uh, we are Toyo University in Japan.、Um, our main campus is located in Tokyo. So,、uh, the easiest way to remember our name is say Toyo in Tokyo,、uh, maybe 30 times. And if you do it 
uh, every single day for two weeks, uh, our university named Notoyo will stay in your long-term memory. So um, my, the homework for today is, you know, say 30 times Toyo in Tokyo. Okay, when you get home, please do that. Okay, you, of course, you know where Japan is. It's very close from uh, Taiwan. And here is the location of Tokyo. It's right in the middle. Uh, of, as you know, uh, it's the capital city of Japan. The city itself is very international, busy, but exciting. Um, I think it's one of the best places for uh, international students in terms of the environment, right? Uh, Toyo University has five different campuses in and around Tokyo area. Uh, our main campus is in, Hakus in the area called Hakusan. It's right in the center of Tokyo, and that's where uh, most international exchange students uh, study uh, for one semester or two semesters. Uh, here are some pictures from the main campus, Hakusan. Uh, it's not 100% concrete and building. You know, you, we have some trees, green. So uh, maybe you can enjoy having lunch uh, under the tree with your friends. Uh, here's the tallest building on our campus. If you look from above, this is what it looks like, you know. Uh, even though the campus is in center of Tokyo, uh, you see it's not in the commercial area. It's more like, you know, cozy housing area. So the environment is rather quiet and you know, comfortable. So, uh, but uh, the campus is, uh, has a very good access to, you know, major uh, commercial or tourist spots like Shinjuku or Shibuya. So uh, it's very convenient. Uh, here are some key numbers of our university. Uh, the uni university was founded more than 130 years ago, and we have six, 46 different departments. So uh, we are a comprehensive private university and uh, with 31,000 students, uh, which makes us one of the largest private universities in Japan. Okay. And there are many, many student clubs, including sports, you know, culture, and many kinds. So some clubs are very serious uh, in sports. Uh, we have had several Olympic medalists so far. And some clubs are more like relaxed and you can kind of enjoy, for example, like if you're interested in tennis, uh, you can join the more relaxed tennis club and you know enjoy the sports and so forth. Uh, here's a picture from Sumo. Uh, exchange students uh, may have a chance to uh, go and watch our small club um, matches. Uh, here's a list of uh, academic programs in undergraduate level. So as you see, it's a comprehensive university. So, um, you know, we cover um, major, you know, academic fields from like literature, economics, sociology, uh, engineering, computer science, biology, and so forth, right? And the same goes for graduate programs. Okay. So uh, in sum, uh, we have 46 uh, different undergraduate programs. So uh, if you come uh, to Toyo, uh, you will have a very great uh, range of uh, choices in terms of you know, you know course choices. Um, many of the courses are offered in Japanese, uh, so you have to have uh, N2 level to take those courses offered in Japanese. And uh, some courses are offered in English. So um, if you if the Japanese is a barrier, um, you, you may you know consider taking courses offered in English. Right, and to exchange students, we offer Japanese language programs. And we have three different levels, as you see. So the, the lowest level is for those who have N5 or N4. So basically, if you have zero Japanese knowledge, no problem, don't worry. Um, as long as you can read uh, maybe hiragana and katakana, you know, you, you should study those uh, before you come then um, you should be fine, okay? Um, many of you uh, may have already studied Japanese, so um, level two or level three might be appropriate, 
All right. Uh, other than academic courses, uh, we offer a lot of cultural, uh, social um, activities or opportunities to uh, international students. So one of the pictures on the left above is uh, from the ECZ, English Community Zone. Um, students, you know, come to this place and uh, they can communicate, practice and communicate in English. Um, so uh, if you're interested in, you know, making friends, uh, communicate in English, um, this will be the best spot. And other pictures are from Japanese cultural events. Uh, for example, like kimono, like, like Japanese traditional clothes. Uh, another one is uh, Japanese drum activity. Uh, I think this is from one of the local festival. And calligraphy. Uh, some of you may be uh, familiar with that. Uh, I would say I'm very, very proud that uh, Tokyo was ranked number one safest city in the world in, according to the Safe City Index in uh, 2019. So uh, that's why I said uh, Tokyo would be one of the best places for international students because it's safe, generally safe. Of course, you know, you have to be careful, but it's generally safe, but still uh, very exciting international. Uh, so uh, there are many opportunities uh, outside the campus. So uh, I really rec recommend um, to study in Tokyo. One bad news is it's very expensive to live in Tokyo. Uh, especially, you know, housing would be somewhat problematic for students. Um, other uh, expenditures, for example, like food, mobile, hobbies, uh, these um, there might there not be uh, big differences among you know different cities in Japan, but housing is very expensive. So um, that's that's something that you should um, you know consider uh, to kind of reduce financial burden for international exchange students. Uh, now we are building a new uh, international residence, you know, um, in close to camp Hakusan campus. Uh, here is a uh, kind of CZ computer graphic model of our new uh, dormitory. And this will open in uh, March 2022, so next year. So uh, if you come uh, in spring next year, you will be the first group of student to live in this dormitory. So you can enjoy the brand new, you know, uh, facility yourself. Great. Good news. Uh, here is a CZ picture from our um, cafeteria in the dormitory. So uh, you will have a lot of you know opportunities to uh, interact with uh, Jap both Japanese and international students from all over the world. Okay. So uh, that uh, sorry for being brief, but that was a brief introduction of Tokyo University and. I think it's now 15 minutes. So uh, let's go on to Q&A uh, session here. So I was just asking a general question for our students. Yeah, the first question is because of pandemic uh, situation, things like the uh, Japan government did not open the border yet. So many of students could not uh, go to university uh, to doing exchange in Japan at this moment. So we wonder whether it will be a restart to accepting our students from the spring semester or will it take longer? And if student cannot do a normal exchange by on campus uh, exchange, will they have a chance to do an online exchange at Toyo University? Yes, uh, exactly. So uh, now we are waiting for the, you know, the reopen of the Japanese borders, uh, but we never know when the government will do it. So uh, all we can do is you know, just wait, basically, for now. But um, we are preparing for, you know, welcoming uh, on-campus exchange programs right now, and. Um, um, if unfortunately the situation doesn't change and we have to, you know, uh, cancel online um, 
on campus program still、uh, we will accept students online completely. Okay, and the other question is、uh, since、uh, many of our students choose Japan as their exchange、uh, place because of JSO scholarship, so we、mm-hmm. wonder our、uh, exchange student could、uh, uh, could also have chance to grab grab JSO from Tokyo University or not? Not. Okay. Yes,、uh, we have some、uh, spots for JASO scholarship,、uh, but it's application basis. So、um, students have to apply, you know,、uh, for the scholarship itself.、Uh, it's not unfortunately automatic, and there are some there is some screening、uh, processes applied. So,、um, but yeah, we encourage students to apply for the scholarship. Okay. Yeah. And the third question is. Uh, uh, According to accommodation, that student would need to、uh, find accommodation by themselves, or once they apply to Tokyo University, they are a, a guarantee that they can、uh, stay at on-campus dormitory. Okay. Yeah. So、uh, our on-campus dormitory is basically open to international exchange students, and、um, anyone who applies,、uh, you know, are guaranteed to stay there. Um, as, unless there is an explosion of, you know, the number of international students、uh, incoming, but that's kind of hard, hard, you know, hard to see. So、uh, uh, if you're interested in the、uh, university dorm, that's fine.、Uh, you can apply, or、uh, you can, you know, also arrange for your、uh, housing on your on your own. That's that's yes, up to students. And also, we got a question about the、uh, taking courses credits. So, is there any like limitation for our student to taking courses? For example, if they apply for a department of foreign languages, and could they take other courses in other departments? And also, is there any like、uh, missing missing month or minimum credit they need to fulfill? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the question. So,、um, basically,、uh, all international exchange students、uh, will study in our main campus, Hakusan, and、um, we, uh, unfortunately, um, international students cannot take all of the courses offered on Hakusan campus. But、um, you know, each professor selects. Uh, the courses that are available to international exchange students, and usually we we offer we have like two hundred fifty or three、uh, hundred、uh, courses available to international students. And as I said in the presentation,、um, if a student has an M two on JLPT,、uh, they are allowed to take courses offered in Japanese. But、um, those who don't have N2,、uh, they have to choose courses offered in English, or、uh, take you know Japanese language program. So, yeah, that, that's the kind of、um, the limitation that they have. Okay, so、yeah. there is no minimum credit they need to fulfill for.、Uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah. So、uh, by Japanese law,、uh, international students have to attend ten hours per week、uh, classes. Ten hour, I mean, ten contact hours per week. So that means、uh, for Toyo,、uh, they have to be taking seven courses per semester, seven minimum. Okay. Okay, so ac- according to your presentation, that I found that you will have a Japanese language courses. So we wonder whether it's a free or is fee paying basis. Basis.、Uh, it's it's included in the regular、um, exchange program. So、okay. uh, if if students choose to study Japanese in our Japanese program, that's part of you know the credits. That we offer. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, almost I 
asked all the questions. So uh, if you have any further question, just leave the question on the chat box. Or if not, we would move on to the next part and say goodbye to our partners from Toyo University.